The ex-officer accused of killing a border border rider is called Charles Omiel. He is a 42-year-old former assistant superintendent of police who was suspended from the force three years ago after being implicated in a corruption scandal. The incident occurred last night at a drinking joint in the Kisugu neighborhood of Kampala. Charles Omiel and the deceased man, Venad Nzabimana, are reported to have had a nasty fight that ended with Nzabimana getting stabbed with a pocket knife. But Omiel says he only acted in self-defense after being attacked by Nzabimana. I could not allow a thug to kill a border border thug with a limited value to kill and leave my children. <laughs> His version of events was however refuted by Nzabimana's wife. Omiel sustained some injuries in the fight and sought medical attention at a nearby clinic. The nurse who administered first aid on him gave her account of his condition. I asked him, he did not tell that he was the, the real truth. The ex-police officer says he was in a fit of rage during the fight and has no regrets for his actions. I do not know whether he's dead because I have not seen him, I have not met him. But I hear he's dead. I don't know whether he, got, he died out of that or what, I don't know. The police spokesman says the suspect will be charged with murder. So we as the police, even in our private life, we have a, a duty to behave in a manner that does not bring discredit to uh, uh, ourselves, our families and the institution. Zabimana's body has been taken to Mulago Referral Hospital as preparations for his burial got underway. Shilat Simemgisha, NTV.